The main, the main man is in the house. Brother Kenneth Okonkwo. How are you, my guy? Much respect. I salute you with both hands, sir. Thank you. One and two. <laughs> Interesting. I, I know you probably would not remember me in any way, but I'll, I'll, I'll break it down to you. All right. Living in bondage. Oh, yeah. Was that kind of an Olodia Papa production? Oh, man. Anyway, with that word you just spoke. That means you really know the origin of this guy. I know the origin because yeah, sure. I was in Nigeria back then when Living in Bondage came out and yeah. when you were talking about it, I was living in Olodia Papa. Yeah. There's some of my friends, Lawrence and blah, blah, blah. And you guys made it happen. Yes, that was actually where I was staying when I did Living in Bondage. And it was um, quite a blessing to me, obviously, and to my generation and to Nigeria in general. So that particular place evokes some memories to me and whatever you call that name honestly I appreciate it here <laughs> <laughs> well it's not a Nollywood event without people like you showing up it's a pleasure man to have you and I know there's a lot we can go into first of all you you're a man with like what five degrees man how did you do that well when you have a focus when you have a dream and you know how to achieve your dream you will certainly get it. I entered Nollywood as a professional. So I had graduated from the university and I love to study. I love to learn. You know, one of my friends, when I was in secondary school, when we finished secondary school, he wrote me a letter. He said, when I heard what you did in living in bondage, I wasn't surprised because you are like a kind of a guy that can get wisdom from the flowers so learning builds my confidence builds my charisma my knowledge and it helps me to interpret any situation that will give something original to whoever is watching it wow. so I love to learn and I'm still learning you know I'm a perpetual student well, yeah, yeah, I saw that in one of your interviews, man, yeah. that the way you, um, you, where you, so you embrace education, yeah. I think you said something like, you know, it's, learning is, is, is just easy for you. It's not something, it's not like work. You yeah. en enjoy, you know, doing yeah. it. And that, and that is so unique because you're a very smart, learned actor. Oh, yeah. You said something like when, you're, when you know, like if you're going to play, let's say, a lawyer now, and you have no knowledge of lawyer you know it's just not the same it's not real no, it's, it's not coming it, from a genuine place yes it cannot be the same i tell you something before i became a lawyer i i couldn't see the kind of embarrassment that some nollywood scripts were giving to the legal profession wow the way they dress the way they dress. <laughs> when i became a lawyer i'm like wait a minute <laughs> <laughs> so the more exposed you are, the better actor you will be. That is so true. Because you are trying to recreate a role that is not you. So the more knowledgeable you are about that role, the better you come. Yeah, you'll do justice. Though. Yes, and versatility, you know, helps. Because in, in, in the real world, you find yourself playing a poor man, a rich man, an educated man. And if you are drunk, you cannot play the drunken man. True. In movies. So you really need to be a calm, calculated, right. and very. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Then you can play all the roles. Wow, wow. Well said, well said. So, what should we look forward to uh, coming up soon for you, career wise? A lot. You know, first of all, we're moving well in the legal profession. I represent some very notable institutions in Nigeria now. Then, um, in the movie world, wow. I mean, from living in bondage, it has been one rate buster to the other. You know, through all the paths, through Naomi, through Do Maybe the Daddy Girl, you know. I think every movie I had ever made, I cherished. Every movie I had ever made introduced something unique to the system. And for 20 something years, you just know that I'm going to probably take on this until I am no more here. And you know the beautiful thing about acting? Yeah. No retirement age. <laughs> that is so true. You know another beautiful thing about law? Tell me. No retirement age. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you, you in know? both parallel uh, professions, yeah. that has no retirement. Mm. 
So, and the older you get, the better you become. That is so true, like fine wine. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll have to borrow the words of uh, Oprah when she said, when you do what you love, it's not like you're working. You don't have to work a day again in your life. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. When you do what you love, it's like you are going to a gym to exercise yourself. You're just happy. You would have equally, you would have done it even if you were not paid. You see all these footballers? They could pay to play football. So it, it makes you live longer. You are enjoying what you're doing. And then you are deriving both wealth and satisfaction. So, and that's why it's good that your purpose and your passion go hand in hand. Well, well said. You're a very learned man. Go enjoy the party, and um, we'll talk to you at the after party. Is that good? All right, thank you, my brother. It's a pleasure. Big, big honor to have you here, okay? All right.